we fell in love. We did. We were we were really happy in the beginning. Um, but I didn't. I wish he would have just talked to me and told me what my life was going to be like. I wish he would have gave me a heads up that if I decide to be with him, this is what your life could be like. And it's not easy. Mm. I wish he would have told me that. Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, Woo! man. Yeah. Even got more beautiful in the neighborhood. Hey, hey, hey. Amber Rose, welcome back to the neighborhood. Ah, uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure me, to guys. see you, love. You too. How have you been? I'm good. Really, though, it's been it's been a, we've talked, but it's been a minute since we've had a chance to kind of sit down in here. Totally, especially with like we didn't see you the whole like. Well, I guess we were limited on guests too, but the pandemic. Oh yeah, we haven't been in the same room since. I know. I was just talking to the girls. Um, so I had a newborn baby as when the pandemic hit. Yeah. So I was really scared during that time, and I just kind of became really reclusive and just in the yeah. house. Yeah. And and plus, we were going through something that we never seen before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, exactly. And, and everything. Now you look in your rearview mirror, and people start saying, "Oh, it was too much." It was. But now, nah, when it was happening, I was like, "Nope, I'm straight." No, I mean, literally, like on the news, people were having like convulsions in the street and yeah, like man. all kinds of crazy shit you know yeah. and i have kids like i was i was scared i right. really was so were you were you more in the house i was in the house i was yeah. going to the grocery store with like gloves on yeah. and like the mask like i was mm-hmm. like it, it was crazy being a public figure even though you have a mask on you know and i remember when we were like in the pandemic and you remember you weren't seeing people and and everybody vibe was different you didn't say bless you when people coughed anymore you, got, you just looked at them mm. but i remember i was at a doctor's office and amber i'm so hands on and i love people i take every picture i love hugs but i stepped out the elevator and this girl saw me and she was like oh, big boy and she just hugged me and i was like oh shit you know what I'm saying? It was COVID just now. different. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was just a little, it was a little different. It is. When people would come up to you, especially when you was like times 10, you know, you you gloves and mask. Right. And when people came up to you, how were you able to like, you know, I, I'm going through something right now or, you know, can you step yeah, back? Yeah, I or? mean, look, I'm, I've, oh, I'm always gracious with yeah. my fans all, all the time, but I would just explain to them like, look, I, I'm so sorry. I cannot take pictures right now because of COVID and everything like that, but I'll give you an air hug. Yeah. You know, I would give try them a to, moment. Yeah. I would yeah. try to give them a moment and stuff like that because I, I understood the excitement. Um, right. But Hell, I've known you for years. I still get excited. <laughs> I know. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. That sounds crazy. Yeah, no, but I'm excited to be in your presence. That's what I meant. Uh, me too. You know, so now that we, we kind of look in it and, you know, we're still in a pandemic, but we're we're so far in, a, in, in the rear view now. How yeah, now feel? I let my kids just go anywhere. They yeah. go to, to Dave and Buster's. They're just out at birthday parties. Man, there's still some like, places I wouldn't allow my kids, though. Like growing up, they could never do Chuck E. Cheese even before that. Like, don't, <laughs> like, man, don't jump in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta I sterilize know, it's you. Gross. Now, but but being back so called, everybody like, oh, we back outside, we back outside. What did you do now that we're so called back outside? You know, I'm not uh, I'm not a partier. Right. I don't like to drink. Mm-hmm. I don't smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of like really introverted. I knew we should have been together. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't party. I don't smoke. You know, yeah, you know, I'm just not. Don't drink. In, I know. I know. I tried it a lot in my 20s. I, I would like force myself to go out in my 20s and shit, but it was never really me. So, I mean, I'm technically outside because I'm outside, right. but yeah. I'm not like outside. Yeah, yeah. Like we don't we don't see people <laughs> yeah. like, oh, Amber was in the club last nah. night. No. I heard that, man. No. So so do you miss kind of like not not the club or whatever, because you, you you did that in your life. Yeah. What do you enjoy just doing now? Um I enjoy looking for really interesting documentaries at home. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I'm like, have you seen this uh <laughs> that something case of Natalia Grace? It's like this this six year old that was from the Ukraine that was adopted. I have not seen that one. Amber, wait till you see this shit. For real? It's on Netflix? It, mm. I don't know if it's on Netflix, because I looked and searched on Netflix. On I know ID. it's on ID, and then it's on like oh. Hulu or something like that, but oh my God. So, can somebody get me the, the, the exact title? I think title. it's called The Unusual Case of Natalia Grace. Hey man, from the first minute, mm-hmm. you're going to be glued to it. Well, I probably saw like six-year-old girl, and then I like scroll past it, because I'm like... No, if you see a trailer, the yeah, trailer... Yeah, I probably got she, nervous because I got kids, and then I'm but like... But she oh. wasn't six. 
<laughs> she, 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 oh my God. Okay. The curious, right. the curious right. case right. I get it. of Natalia Grace. Just people, when, 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 when you get a moment, she definitely wasn't yeah. six. You know oh, what I'm saying? But okay. she was on some, like, some Chucky shit with knives and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Trust that. What kind of documentaries do you watch? Do you watch any of like the first 48s and all that stuff too? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm into... Um, any and every? Yeah, yeah. I'm into all kinds of stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, anything that just strikes me and I just find it interesting, I, I just then I just start going down a rabbit hole and yeah. start googling stuff. I and- love documentaries because I don't do a lot. I don't do like a lot of scripted TV. Yeah. So I love documentaries. Then there's times where I go in, I'm like, damn, it looked like I seen everything. <laughs> I know, same. Yeah. So I just I'm into ask like people a like, lot of UFO stuff. Really? Now. Yeah. Do they exist? Yes, I think so. Man, I always say, how could we think we're the only ones here? Yeah, it's and ignorant. then if we're here, then there's the 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 monkey. Then there's the like the, those are the only things that exist because we're here. Right. Have you ever had any kind of experience? No, that would be cool though. Yeah, I would it's be gonna into happen tonight. it. Yeah, uh, thank yeah. You. I hope so. <laughs> but, Speaking but, to existence. Yeah, but that doesn't freak you out at all. No, not at all. And you know, it's crazy, man. When she came in, she went to go set her purse down and she was about to sit it on the floor. And Natalia did one of those, don't don't, oh, don't sit it on the floor. And you're like, I'm not superstitious. Mm-mm. So you have you ever been? You don't put the power in it? Uh, no, well, I was um, I was raised Christian mm-hmm. my whole life. And my not that that actually correlates with being superstitious, but my, my mom was kind of like that. Um, and she would always say things and I would be like, mom, like if you say it, then it becomes real in right. your mind. Like you can't. So I just start applying that to my life. Like when people are like, don't put it on the floor, you're going to go broke or whatever right. superstition <laughs> you, like, you guys have about watch. it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Go broke my ass. <laughs> <laughs> my purse been on the floor for the longest. No, like, yeah. yeah so I'm like, there, there's no other tables around here. I'm not going to put it right here. Right. So I'll put it on the floor. I'll be fine. I heard that. What about splitting poles? All that shit. I don't believe oh, it. Okay. I, I'll walk under a ladder, a black cat, all right, that with, shit. With a black cat in your hand. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <I'm good. laughs> right, right, yeah this, this ain't nothing. Yeah, but yeah, when you're in part, and then when you know, that's why I tell people also, Amber, I'm like, don't put your superstitions on me. Yeah. Because then when I find out a new one, I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. There, there's one I really believe in, though, but I'm going to put it on you. What? You know what I'm saying? Black people, man, when your left eye jump, lick your finger and cross your eye, like, you never heard that one? What? Yeah, I've that's some Southern. That well, yeah. I said, well, you're not yeah, from I'm from Philly. Jackson. I don't know. You're not from Jackson, Mississippi either. No. Your mom wasn't from, from Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> well, anyway, Amber, what's going on? With, uh, yeah, the segue. <laughs> so, so College Hill, Celebrity Edition. Yes. They get in touch with what made you say, you know what? Yes, I'll go do that. Being, you know, holding on to your privacy, right. not doing so much and, and, and doing things by choice. What made you choose to go do that? Totally. Um... Well, I will say I've I've been famous for probably 13 years mm-hmm. now. I've never done reality right. TV. Um, and I just felt like I, I love to learn. I'm mm-hmm. interested in learning. Um, I never had an opportunity to go to college. And I felt like I was going to be around people like me or like like-minded people mm-hmm. in a sense. And... Um, so I decided to 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 do it, and it was mostly a great right, experience. Right, right, right. <laughs> but when you when you say I've never, and especially at one point, I'm pretty sure you got every offer to do in the house to follow around some some kind of yeah low yeah. I actually fruit. was offered Love and Hip Hop before it ever came out. I right. was one of the first people that was offered that. I guess it made sense. Um, me and Wiz were together at the mm-hmm. time. Um, before Bash was even thought of. Wow. So he'll be 11. You turn And you turned that down? I turned that down. When you look at it now. Th- okay, when, I'm when, happy I did. There it is. No shade to Mona Scott. Right, she's right, a right. genius. I love her. Yeah, she's a genius, but it's just not for me. I heard that. And, yeah. and plus, man, everything is so well documented now. Nothing right. disappears. Nothing disappears. So with, with knowing that, why did you trust, like, the? why did you trust College Hill? And especially with a different cast where it's like, if it's just me, I'm good. Yeah, so here's the thing. I watched the first season and I felt like it was very positive. Of Um, the celebrity side. Yeah, I'm sorry. The celebrity edition first season I watched and I I, I thought it was really cool. Right. Um, And so we don't know who's going to be in the house. Oh. So it's not like I had a list and I was was like, yeah. So you really don't know until you get there. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know, like, um, 
so yeah, I, I, I had no idea who was going to be in the Are house. Are you antsy? Is there any anxiety with like who they're going to try to put in here? Because even with, with College Hill Celebrity Edition, it's not like, oh, we in here and we just throwing water and everything crazy, 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 crazy. Right, you know? right. So it's not the setup. But are, were you concerned about who would be in the house at any point? Not really. Mm-hmm. I feel like I get along with everybody. Um, I don't, I've, I listen, 13 years, I've never had any problems really with anybody. And if I did, they right. came at me first. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had to just defend myself. Um, but yeah, I just, I didn't feel like I was going in with like a negative mindset or anything like that. And um all in all, it really was a great experience. What did you learn from going to like ASU and the history that's right there <laughs> in Montgomery, Alabama, and just being on on campus? Like, it's one thing to think, "Oh, I'm going to go do this," but when you actually there, right, and you're really like you're really a student. Mm-hmm. What did that feel like when when you saw that you were on this historical campus as well? Yeah, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, and the thing of it is, we are actually in college. Right. Like, you have to do the work. You have to go to class. And obviously, they they chop it up for TV and stuff like that. But um, it's, it's real-life college. Um, going to the Legacy Museum was um, sur- surreal. Because mm-hmm. you know about slavery. You know what happened. You know, you kind of learned that growing up in elementary school. But when you see the images, um, it's, it's very different. Mm-hmm. It, it really hits a spot where you're just like, I, I can't believe people were, were treated this way yeah. on this soil. Yeah. You know? And not long ago. And not long ago. Man, my wife just went to, um, she was in Memphis, and and she went to the Lorraine, to the Lorraine uh, Hotel, to the Lorraine Motel. And there's a lot of history there with King being killed there. And you know but until you're actually on turf, like she was like, baby, she was like, could feel it. Yeah. yeah. She was like, I knew, but I didn't know. And and there's people that can sit down right now and still have a conversation with you because they were there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and also when when you think about ASU, so much in Montgomery, Alabama, that was like like the Mecca as well. Like yeah, the like hub I don't of wanna, civil rights. I don't know how to say this. Um you can feel what happened Mm -hmm. down there just the energy you can feel that i mean um even in montgomery they still have slave quarters that you can go and look at that are still standing um that are made of brick Mm -hmm. and um it was looked at as like the slave masters actually cared about his slaves um in order to give them brick housing Mm -hmm. um for weather so it was it, during that time, it was looked at as a positive thing. Like, oh, right. the slave master actually cares for his slaves yeah. and he, he, they don't have them in, you know, outside in bad weather. Um, that's how mm-hmm. ignorant it was back then. Um, and they, they, you'll see that in the show when you watch it. When you stop, up. when do you stop being Amber Rose when you get there? And I don't mean like there's an Amber Rose character, <laughs> but when do you look and it's like, you, it's just normal to you. Is that immediate? Like walking through? Did people? It was give, not immediate. Yeah, oh, okay. It was not immediate. Um, maybe after a couple of days, I was just like, you know what? I am who I am, and um, that's just it. Like mm-hmm. I am who I am, and they the the thing that they don't show in in the show, um, it looks like I'm just talking about atheism. Like mm. just just constantly, um, and it was really over like a two week period that they compiled into one show. But also, they my cast the cast kept asking me about it. So like they're asking me questions, I'm answering the questions, and then they're just showing me answer right. the questions. Mm. Right. You know. So I like the editing. Yeah. So as an atheist. Um, you don't try to convert people. Right. That's not what we do. Christians do that. Right. And I don't think sitting in this room, too, I don't think that if I had a conversation with you or you had one with me, we'll both walk out and you'll be like, man, you know, I'm Baptist now. I'm Christian. And I won't walk out and be like, oh, exactly. I'm atheist. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, I, I was always open to having the conversation um, and answering questions, but I I don't try to convert people. Right. That's not what I do. Uh, I don't try to change people's minds. Um, How long have you been atheist? When did you figure out, like, 
And what brought you to Probably it? Probably like a couple years mm-hmm. now. Um, I feel like initially I had a lot of questions when it came to the Christian church mm-hmm. um, and the Bible. I've, I've read the Bible front yeah. to back. A lot of things didn't make sense. There was a lot of contradictions in the Bible. And I just started to research for myself. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the only thing that I would say to people is that you don't have to be what you were raised to be. Right. You're able to look outside the box. Now, if you come back to Christianity or Islam or whatever, Buddhism, whatever, give yourself an opportunity to just learn different things. It doesn't mean you have to follow that. It just opens your mind up to, you know, m- maybe something that you're missing. Being an atheist, Amber Rose, and, we, and we'll move past this, but being an atheist, explain what that is because there's some people that just hear it and right. they'll say, devil worshiper. Right. They, they, you know what I'm saying? So Right. Yeah, I think that was Quay's issue right. um, on the show. Like, he heard atheist and was like, <laughs> Yo. yeah, he just... Uh, Anointing like, water. Yeah, he thought, <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know, did spells or worship the devil or anything like that. So atheists, if we don't believe in God or a higher power, we definitely don't believe in the devil. Mm. So we don't worship anything. We think that... Um, we believe in like the big bang theory. Um, we don't believe that God said, let there be light and you know, Noah's Ark and stuff like that. Um, and we, we base it off of science mostly not Scientology. Right, right, right. That's a completely different thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I just had a lot of unanswered questions growing up Christian. And then it kind of just, I, I came to the conclusion that, I don't feel like there's a higher power. I believe in evolution and stuff like that. And you've probably addressed this before, but what does that relationship with the kids? Because we were when I was brought up, it was like you went to church, you did this, same, you did this, same. you did this, you know. And now when with my kids, I don't put a lot of that on my kids because I've also got a different kind of knowledge. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, just a different time. And I was able to search research a little bit more. But with your kids... Would you do? Do you let your kids, you know, so called yeah. drive the car, or crash the car themselves, or do you do you already have them where it's like? No, I I allow my children to be free thinkers. Mm-hmm. Um, they have the children's Bibles in their rooms. Um, they're able to ask me questions about anything. I don't put atheism on them at all. Um, Sebastian loves to pray at night mm-hmm. um, before he goes to sleep, and as his mother, I pray with him. I heard to, that. To give him comfort, because um, I do believe that religion is comfort, mm-hmm. and I understand why people, um, you know, tend to go towards religion because it does comfort them that they will see their loved ones one day. Right. And I understand that. I I never try to change people's mind. Um, my my best friends are all Christian, and we love each other. They're my sisters. What do you think happens after you after we die? I think we just die. Damn. Yeah, and I think that while we're on earth, we should do positive things when we can and leave a legacy behind. Um and that's and that's just it. So are are you saying that I should visit these countries that I want to go to? Yes. India and the okay, all right, just checking. Just checking for personal reasons. Oh. You know? <laughs> so get it all in now. Yeah, yeah. I okay, think yeah. I think that we have one life to live and I, I personally I don't believe that there's an afterlife where you're going to be able to visit India. Um, Damn. After. Yeah, because so it's expensive it. too. Yeah, especially if you want. Yeah, yeah. So, because I was thinking, I was like, man, that I flight. get to heaven, I can knock out everything in like a, a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, boop, I'm over here. Boop, I'm over here. Exactly. Amber, we had a conversation not not too long ago where you you played me some music, right? Mm-hmm. You sent me some music, and I was like, Amber, you in the pocket. Thank you. What goes on with Amber, the artist on that side? Because that seemed like low hanging fruit for you. Man, I got to my whole album is done. Um, I think because I'm just independent. um, I'm just doing it all by myself, you know, and I have some features, um, some really big, big, big features. Uh, Like who? Sounds you're holding (laughs) off on us. You was about to say it too. I don't know if I could say it. Actually, the next song is a feature. Who is it? Um, Kodak Black. Oh, that's dope. (gasps) Yeah. That's that dope. was that was that's my next song, is with Kodak Black. I'm just waiting now for Atlantic to sign off on it. Um, he already did the verse, and it's amazing. Do you want that too, Amber? 
What? Like that that artist side. Like, do you want that? Do you, you know? I want to, again, like you just said, I want to experience everything. Yeah. I have one life to live, you know? I want to do things that make me excited about being alive. You know, regardless what anyone says, you know, we're we're here for a short amount of time. Yeah, we man. don't know when we're going to go. Um, I recently just I lost my dog two days ago um, after 13 years. Oh, my Lord. And he was like a son to me. You know, honestly, he was my fur baby and I've been devastated. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, so he was fine. Um, I, I went to go take him out and he wouldn't stand up. Um, I kind of like pushed him up to stand up to go out and use the bathroom and he just collapsed. I sent him, I brought him to the emergency vet. He was having trouble breathing and within three hours I had to put him down. So like he was here, he yeah. was fine, he yep. was running around and mm -hmm. within three hours he was gone and I was shocked. What do you tell the kids? Because that's <sighs> like, you know. That, yeah. that he been there as longer than they have. Longer, yeah. yeah. I mean, I you know, I'm very honest with my kids. I said Paul Lee died. He passed away. He had a, a stroke uh, mm -hmm. and a brain aneurysm. Um, but I say that to say that within three hours, yes, yeah. yeah, his health declined, and that could happen to any one of us at any point. So if I want to dip my hands into music or um, you know travel or whatever the case may be. That's that's just what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you only get one. That's real. Yep. That is real, and and not the cliche of what what's next for Amber Rose, but but what do you feel like, man? I already got some good things in the rearview mirror. Right. What's going through the windshield? What what are you what are you looking at? I'm working on something now for my girls, um, and um, and when you say for my girls, it's for girls, for the ladies, for the Hello. ladies, for the ladies. Yes. Um, yeah, that's all I could say. Right now, you sure? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I want to like. What is it? More makeup? Is no, it's it, not makeup. Is it more zzz, kind of? No, feel it? no. Oh, okay. Lingerie. I hate sex toys. By the mm. way, oh, okay. I always had. I mean, like the, the companies would pay me to because they think my persona mm -hmm. is just like I have sex all day. I really am not into all that shit. Fuck. No, <laughs> that was terrible. No. I'm not. I'm really a. I'm really a nerd, yo. I'm really a nerd. I'm so tired of this persona that like I was thrown into. Mm -hmm. um, because what happened is I got thrown into this persona and I was plucked from obscurity when I got thrown into this persona. Gotcha. And then after I got thrown into that, I didn't have any money. So th there was fame, yeah, but there was no money. So then it was like, hey, Amber, we kind of want to do this photo shoot with you in a bikini and do this, this, right. and that. And that's the hustler's mentality like, too, though. I don't want to. Right. I'm really a nerd. I want to be a, you know, I want to do like documentaries and like cool shit. I want to be in a room with scientists and like ask them questions. Um, and they're like, well, we'll pay you 50 grand if you, you know, do this. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Especially when it ain't coming in. <laughs> you know? I, I probably would have had a lingerie picture back right. in the day. Like, yeah. fuck <laughs> yeah. So then, it, so then, you know, it, it, it becomes, it consumes my life. And I, mm. I've been sad for a lot of years. I was going to ask you, do you have fun in that? Or, yeah, I was going to ask you, or is it like, no, like a, this I mean, is it, not me? It has taken a toll on my mental health um, throughout the years. I've. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty sad for a long time. As Could far you as tell like, anybody that when when you're like the happy go lucky, when you're the face of it, you know what I'm saying? Like that you weren't happy. Th th yes. This wasn't you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you remember when I had my talk show, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. right? And I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, um, they tried to switch it into a different direction and I would always bring you up and I'm like even Big Boy called me and said that he loved my show I and like, loved it man you know um, but they tried to switch it in a different direction and I was like I don't want to do that and they canceled me right is it is it easier to kind of back away from certain things especially when you know you're not feeling something and you know that something is not you and we can have fun in the bullshit too yeah. you know what I'm saying but when you know it's not you did you purposely say, I got to pull myself away from a lot of this? 
I mean, I tried, but mm-hmm. again, you know, I have a family. Yeah. I'm the oldest sibling. Um, I have two kids. Like, there's things that you just you just have to do. Right. You know, because it pays a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and you get pigeonheld into this persona that's just not who you are. Um, and you're like scrambling to get out of there. What do you get from your Kanye rearview mirror? Um, I mean, it was a great time mm-hmm. in pop culture. Right. Hell yeah, it was. You know? Um, and it was a stepping stone, mm-hmm. but that's about it. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else. <laughs> Stop, Peek. <laughs> it's just an ex-boyfriend. I don't know. It's not like he was my husband. We mm-hmm. didn't have kids together. Mm-hmm. So, it's just an ex-boyfriend. If he called you today, would you answer the phone? Uh, he has called me, and I have answered the phone. I mean, it didn't come up. Kanye. <laughs> right. but, yeah, it was like a random number and I answered it was him. Do do you ever look at it sometimes and be like, man, I'm glad I had that part of my life and I'm not, I'm not and not just with Kanye, but I'm glad I'm not there right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. So I I feel like Kanye is probably seven, eight years older than me. Um as I was very young, I was I was literally I was living in the projects when I wow. met him in the Bronx. Um and then within a week I was in Paris and like it just it was a culture shock for me. I, I didn't know how to deal with that culture shock um at such a young age. So being in the projects yeah. in the Bronx, and this is probably public knowledge, but how how do y'all cross paths? Um, I got discovered in New York. Uh, to do music videos. Mm-hmm. And then I did the Ludacris and Chris Brown video, I Know What Them Girls Like. Mm-hmm. And then Kanye saw me in that video, reached out to the director, got my phone number, and then called me for his video, Robocop. Yeah. Which we we filmed it, but it never, never, came, it it never, never... came out. Um, And then we fell in love. We did. We were, we were really happy in the beginning. Um, but I didn't... I wish he would have just talked to me and told me what my life was going to be like. I wish he would have gave me a heads up that if I decide to be with him, this is what your life could be like. And it's not easy. Mm. I wish he would have told me that. Yeah, because it's got to be different coming from being known just by your peers or, you know what I'm saying, to mm. the whole world. Within you. a day. Right. Yeah, within do you one feel day. Like he, he had, do you feel like he knew? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I think like he was just selfish and he didn't care enough to like just kind of throw me to the sharks and and make me figure it out. But um, I was loved in Philly. I was loved in the Bronx. I had a bunch of friends. I was always a fun, cool girl. And then all of a sudden I'm on his arm and I'm the biggest whore. I'm disgusting. Why did he choose me? Um, talking about my family as a bunch oh. of crackheads and all this shit and I was just like dumbfounded. I wasn't prepared for that and I I, I wish he would have had a conversation with me uh, about what that was going to be like. Did did he know that it was hard for you? Yeah, I voiced that to him a, a bunch of times but I think he was at where I'm at now. You know, like if I if I had a little young John or whatever and I, <laughs> you know, I, I'm like, don't worry about, don't even look at the comments. Right. Don't, you know, um, but I wasn't there yet. It was new for me. So, you know, he was kind of like, don't worry about that shit. We in Paris. We having fun. We And I'm just like, no, everyone hates right. me. Help and, me. And you can't go out and correct everything. <laughs> right. And everybody and perception is reality. And and the first thing that a lot of people spew is hate. Yes. You know, and, and then it's like, and then it becomes contagious. Right. That's why I've never been on Facebook in my life. Yeah. I don't read comments. I just got back on to like Instagram and social media. I did like some good, you know, wellness work. And I was just like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need it because no matter how strong we are, there's still something there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and it's not my job to go out and correct everybody about, about me or, or I just see certain things, man. And I saw one time and it was someone's baby mm. and they was talking about how ugly this baby was. Yeah, it's fucked up. And I was just like, this is this this is it. This is where we are. Yeah, it's sad. This is where we are, man. So it had to be kind of hard for you early on. And that's like the limelight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's the biggest 
platform that someone could well, step on. Well, that's the thing. I, the I I didn't. You know, I've I've never seen a girl that was somebody's girlfriend that became famous. I never saw that before. Mm-hmm. So when it happened for me, I was the first. Again, the first at something. Right. Yeah, yeah. You- that like, you know, so so I'm walking outside without him. Um, and he's, you know, at the house and I'm going to the store and paparazzi's following me. And I'm like, why are you guys following me? I'm not famous. He right. is. My boyfriend is. He is, you know? Um, so I didn't understand the concept at the time of like, how am I famous for absolutely nothing? Right. Uh, just being his girlfriend. And then people online would be like, she's famous for no reason. And I would be like, yeah, no right. shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, I feel I'm that too. I'm not asking for this. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want me to do. I'm not. I I literally didn't ask for this, and I, and now I'm getting the shitty end of the stick, just kind of loving somebody that was just uber famous. Was it like, was it hard to be in that relationship too? Yes. Right at that time, you knew like, ah, oh, this is a lot right now. It was a it was a lot for me. Mm-hmm. Um. But, you know, listen, I've, I had amazing times with mm-hmm. Kanye. I, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, we had our little tiffs throughout the years and shit like that. But we're older now. We have children. Um, you know, we, we, me and Kanye had a lot of good times. People don't know. Me and him used to dance all night, like all the time. We used to travel the world and just dance like at parties, like underground That's parties, dope. basement parties. We would just dance all night together. So. Did he have to dance to his music? No, <laughs> no, no, it was all kinds of 80s, 90s, whatever. But yeah, we had some good times. And um, but to answer your question fully, he he is just an ex an ex boyfriend. I heard that. He is. How do you feel about today? Do you do you like where you are right now? Yeah, I think I'm moving forward. Um, I have a YouTube show that's mm-hmm. going to come out. That's just going to show my life, who I am as a person, my kids, my house. And that's yours. That's all mine. So that's you, the editing, the shooting, the and, 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 and it's crazy because we build empires. Anyone can build an empire. And by that, I mean, back in the days, it was like, oh, I got to be on such and such channel. I got to be on such and such. I got to be on such and such label. Right. But now you're like, I am the channel. Right. I am the label. You know what I'm saying? Like you got probably more people that would go and subscribe or look at your material than the person that has a talk show. Like what your reach is and how people really f with you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, bring bring it all home. Yeah, like, yeah. So I'm. It's just gonna be me, my life, mm-hmm. my house, my kids. Um, I let my kids curse. Mm-hmm. Um, I let them be free when they talk and. Um, feel their emotions and do you have a lot of conversations with your sons oh all day yeah yeah I mean I'm I'm very close with my children mm-hmm. they know when they like they don't curse at people they're not disrespectful towards people right but I allow I allow them to feel how they want to feel and if that means saying curse words then that's fine and slash is what he's three yeah oh he, and he before this year yes go ahead now I would love to hear him Oh yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. that's me. You know, that's well, me you know, to put the words got together. The older great. Brother. Yeah. Oh, so he probably yeah he probably so. a little more advanced then. He probably a little bit more advanced. <laughs> right. I'm still work. I'm still working right. on him because he'll be like, he'll be like, mommy, you're a bitch. Right. Well, and yeah, I'm that's like, that's what I'm saying. They don't want to be Well, like, like give him that. You know what I'm saying? And you then don't Sebastian know will be like, no, no, you no, not you don't say it like just right. you know. So. <laughs> see, see how he with like wow. a loving tone. I mean, you probably yeah. the same size as the little the little one too. So. Maybe. You know, but, but leave that. I was changing my son's diaper mm-hmm. and then it was like a bad one, like a bad number two. And I was like, ah, shit. And I just like said it so casually. And then my son was like, ah, shit. And I yeah. was like, yes, that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, dude, but you know what's that's crazy what about do. that? Your yeah. kids will catch on to cursing more than they'll catch on to like anything you, else. Yeah. Yes. They, they, they won't catch on to a water bottle. No. <laughs> but they're like, fuck this. Ha, fuck this. Fuck yeah. This. Yeah. Fuck this. You're like, dude, like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like I remember one time, dude, my wife called me. And she was like, baby, she was like, Jaden just said uh, fucking shit. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. And I'm literally between breaks on air. And I'm like, oh, my God. All right, baby. Like, what fucking shit? Like, what he said? Fucking shit? <laughs> and she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh. So I get off the phone and I'm with the neighborhood. And I'm like, they're like, what's wrong, big? I'm like, dude, I said, Jaden just said, like, fucking shit. And the room goes quiet. And then everybody started, like, looking at each other. And then Liz was the one who finally stepped up and said, Big, 
you say fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I thought about it, I was like, "Man, this fucking shit." Fuck. Yeah, that was right. my word. That's true. Yes, that that was Very me. True. You yep. know what I'm saying? 2018 since we've had Slut Walk about then, right? Yes. Okay. When you went into Slut Walk, there was a lot of you know you did beautiful things, but there was a lot of backlash. Yes. Do you think that Slut Walk was a little early? For the acceptance that we're in even now today. Yeah, I mean, just look at my life. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these girls are, they're living my life now mm -hmm. and they're not getting the scrutiny that I got. Right. You know what I mean? I came out in 2009. They were not ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, um, it's hard being the first yeah, to do something. You know, because I, I started that movement before Me Too movement, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, let me rephrase that. I did not start Slut Walk. I started the Amber Rose Slut Walk. The Amber Rose Slut Walk. Yes. And with the Amber Rose Slut Walk, would you bring that back? Or do you feel like I, don't know. I did what I did? And, you know, because that was a lot that you had to wear as well. I'm not worried. I'm I'm cool with taking the punches. Okay. Um, I'm fine with that. Um, it's just I think that I need to forgive a lot of women that did me wrong in my life, and I need to deal with my mental health. Right. Before, Take care of you before I can help anybody else, and yeah. that's where I'm at with it. The easy scenario too, man, is when and, and we see it all the time when you're on a plane. They say. Secure your mask right. first. Before, right. Before you, yeah. So you got to be good to you before you could be good to anyone yeah, else. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at right now. Do you speak, uh, and, and I've heard you say quite a bit about mental health, you know, and that that's a conversation that years ago we kind of didn't have. Yeah. You know, and we see it now more so. It used to be, look at it, suck it up, you know, pull it up, don't work. You know, you got to be strong. Don't let that bother you. And now we see that the dialogue is, is even more accepted. Right. And when you say you got to protect <clears throat> your mental health, that means a lot because at one point you probably weren't even comfortable with being that vulnerable with someone, were you? Yeah, I feel like my entire life I've been in survival mode mm -hmm. and now I'm a, a bit more relaxed. Um, and now the, the, the trauma is filling up my brain you right. know what i mean it's like now when you're in survival mode right all you can think about is surviving so everything else is kind of on the side and what happens is when you get out of survival mode um all that shit hits you like a truck and you're and you realize things that you've been through in your life and why did i accept that why yeah. did i allow myself to get abused why um did i not speak up for myself why did i just sit there like from, you know, things that happened in my childhood, stuff like that. Um, and it just, it hits you all at once. And I think the pandemic really fucked me up. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that's, that's when it got really bad. Really? Yeah. Was, was the quiet loud? Because during the pandemic, we were all like, it was chaotic, but it got quiet. It right. got serious. It got to where you had to like either deal with, the person in the mirror straight on or, you know, mm -hmm. there were some people that, you know, took to, you know, other substances. But, yeah, it was a lot because things got shut down and you had to really be quiet. And when you're yeah. quiet, it's extremely loud sometimes. Yes. I think during the pandemic, I realized that I had a lot of fucked up people around me. Mm -hmm. Um. E e like during that time and before. Mm -hmm. So I start reflecting on who I brought into my life and they either stole from me or uh, fuck my boyfriend or, you know, um, hated me the whole time right. when I thought they loved me, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So that it's like a hard pill to swallow kind of just because uh, I, I don't have family um, like that. So I'm kind of like out here by myself. And so the people that I brought into my life were pretty shitty, big right. boy. And you thought that they yeah. were, you brought them in as family. Right. Right. And you wouldn't probably do a fraction of the things to someone else no, that they so did to you. Exactly. I would never. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't hurt people, you know? And so um, I think now I, I, 
I just almost can't believe that I brought all those fucked up people into my life. But but then you start to understand psychology and maybe having a narcissistic parent or an absent father mm. and what you're trying to search for, like subconsciously, you don't even know that you're seeing red flags, but they, they're comfort right. to you. It's comfortable to see those red flags. You're not even looking at them as red flags. And so that's what I had to deal with, like coming to the conclusion that um, probably since I've been famous, I've had 99% of people be really shitty. Wow. Damn, Do sorry. you know how to separate that to where you'll say, you know what, it, I, I had to learn from it. But do you know how to separate the fault? As a like, I'm trying. Yeah, and see that that's that's another hurdle. Yeah, that you have to get either either I don't know if you get up over it, you get under it, you get around it. But however, that hurdle will be there, you know. And and sometimes we'll do things to ourselves. We're like, man, I can't believe I fell for that. I can't. There's times when I like. There's one thing I'm thinking right now. And I'm just like, ah, shit, it's in the rearview mirror, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what can you do about it? But it's still there. Yeah, you know? it lingers. Yeah, yeah, it definitely lingers. Yeah, and you, sure. and you can't quite turn it off. Exactly. Yeah, but, but you know, one, one thing that's powerful is when you notice it. Yeah, there's a power in that too, Amber. The, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. and I think, I think I got there. Yeah, and the people too. But see, now I'm even more reclusive mm -hmm. because I won't bring anybody in my life. Is that I, good or bad for you? You think? Um, how do you, how do you I view think, it? It's scary mm -hmm. because um, I almost push people away when they get close to me because I'm just like, no, you're like, I have too much trauma where I'm just like, no, you're going to hurt me, too. I don't believe right. anything you say. Like, I just I, I'm good. Like, I, I don't even want to be around anybody. I just want to be around my kids. Um, and that's it. So it does, it gets scary because it's like, you know. Do I want to be lonely for the rest of my life or am I actually lonely? Right. I don't feel lonely. I actually feel like stronger being away from people because no one can hurt me anymore. I just I, I come to where I just want like quality, not quantity. Yeah, but it's like, how do you know? You almost like. It's almost too late before you find out, at mm -hmm. least in, in my circumstances. Like, I've had people around me for years, and yeah. then I would be like, oh, shit, this is yep. really who you are? Like, what the fuck? Like, I would have never thought. Yeah, but then when you went, the power is when you find out. Yeah. Like, I remember years ago, like, when, when my ex cheated, right? The power for me was I found out. Right. You know, and then it's like, okay, well, what do you do with that now that you know? Are you going to, well, when she was over here and such and such, did this have, like, I didn't have to go down a rabbit hole of self, like, fucking my mind. Yeah. I was just like, this is what it is. This is what's going on. How do you move on from here? As opposed to, man, that December 13th when she didn't, I'm not doing that. You know? Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of guys that want to take me out. And, mm -hmm. like, I'm sure. In this room. Treat me. <laughs> <laughs> say, Damn. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. We all in relationships, but I call my wife. Yeah. You know I, I see my kids on what? Tuesday? No. no. But, yeah, you say there's a lot of guys that do. And I'm pretty sure people think, like, you're available, what the DMs look like. And not even just the DMs, the personal messages that, that people could send to you. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, I am. I am single, technically. Mm -hmm. Um, am I looking? No. Right. Like if it, and I always say this, if it doesn't feel like what I have with Wiz, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just not even like entertaining it. Like Wiz was the love of my life. So if it doesn't, if I don't have that feeling again, I'm yeah. okay with just being by myself. What happened there? We were just young. Right. We just got married at the wrong time. Wow. You know? But I think that's why we're still so close because it was real for the both mm. of us. And you can't even call that. People, I mean, it's so easy to say co-parenting, but y'all exist. You know what I'm saying? Y'all exist in, in each other's lives and right. the kids' lives. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't get to that. Yeah, I mean, we have Thanksgivings together, mm -hmm. Christmas together. Um, you know, we do everything with our with Sebastian and you know, even my little one will run up to, to Wiz and he'll, like, throw him in the air and stuff like that. It's not even his baby. But we're family. You know, when he has another baby, it's going to be the same way with me. Gotcha. I remember, dude, we had Wiz in the neighborhood one time. And we did this thing called Flashcard Freestyle. 
and Flash Card Freestyle is like whatever he wrote on his cards, mm -hmm. I would have to rap about. Okay. And then whatever I rap, wrote on my card, he would have to rap about. And you wouldn't know until we actually did like this and we revealed the card, what was on there. And this is what came up on one of the cards. The next freestyle is Amber Rose. Ooh. Okay. Uh, 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 hey, hey, I don't want no drama. Ow. Why you gotta bring up my baby mama? Just because. Well, damn, I suppose. I'm a freestyle about Amber Rose. Amber Rose. She's bald head. She got my kid. Yes, sir. We was married. Ow. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. I still love her. Yes, you do. She loved me too. That's true. You think I'm going to talk bad about her? You're through. Ooh. I never will. Never That's the mother will. of my kid. I'm right here. I'm doing it with it. Yes, hey. sir. Hey. And I ain't worried about these rules. Why is that? Because my baby mother is Amber Rose. She's Amber Rose. <laughs> you know. So yeah. I'll give you a copy of that. I'll give you a copy. Yeah, I'll give you one for $500. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, I always tell nah, people. I he's say, adorable. Man, yeah, he, he, I, I'm going to say, yeah, he is. How that sound? Right. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got to catch myself real quick. You know what I'm saying? And, and we, we're on the same birthday. Mm -hmm. He's September 8th, man. It's just an energy about these these some of these Virgos. Not some, not all of us but some of these Virgos you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah that was awesome do you think that you would get into another relationship or you feel like I'm working on me right now I'm definitely working on me mm -hmm. right now um, I'm not looking I don't even think I'm really open mm -hmm. to that because um, I have severe trust issues yeah um, and how can you not yeah um, and that's no one else's problems but my own mm -hmm. and I, I it would be selfish for me to go and try to jump into something with somebody else knowing that I have trauma and right. bring that to them. That's right. that's not fair. I'm not going to do that to Keep anybody. it real with you. Some guys probably would still take it, though. Yeah, they, they yeah, <laughs> you, But still continue to work on you. You know what I'm saying? Continue. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple guys that are really nice and they're pursuing me and um, I appreciate them. Is it hard being in, and you've been in the public for like 13 years, you know, is it harder to be in this public like? When you say, you know what, I do want to date, or there's a couple guys that I'm uh, that I'm feeling, but anytime you go to do something, it becomes news. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So like, I I went out on like a little date the other day, but I had to like go to his house, mm -hmm. um, and I was like, you know, I just want to do coffee because mm -hmm. if I don't like you, I want to be able to leave fast. Right, I heard that. You know, so I don't want right. to I don't want to get all dressed up and have a whole two hour dinner with like different courses and shit. I don't want to do that right. if I don't know you like that. <laughs> You know, so I just want my coffee, and if it's lame and it's weird, then I'm I'm out. Mm -hmm. um, but he was nice. He was he was really really nice. Um, but again, I'm like, will you tell someone it's lame or weird, or we just figure out it's lame or weird when when they don't hear back? Wait, say that one. Like, more time? would you tell someone like you know oh, I'm weird. not vibing vibing with you, or or do we do do we just have to figure it out when it's like yeah, yeah I mean like I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to hurt anybody's right. feelings, but um, I would just. I would just tell him that, you know, I don't think we're compatible. I wouldn't just ghost them, mm -hmm. you know. Do you ever have to tell him to stop staring at your tattoo? <laughs> no. No? Oh. Which one? No, oh. they like my tattoo. Hey, man, I'm you sure know we're you're talking about the one the, on my face. Yeah, it's, right. a big, it's, a, it's a focus, so I figured if you're talking face to face, I'd be like, it's yeah, better than the guy of, looking that's like, what you, would look at? Uh, you know, no, I'm like, just saying. like they can look at her beautiful face. Yeah, I know, but that's there. Mm. Well, you don't have a chance anyway, so she needs <laughs> She, she knew how to answer that shit. Like, she was like, big, who is this him. grown kid in here? <laughs> like, he been sitting up in here, and that's the question he want to ask? <laughs> she was like, big, you always have one working with you. <laughs> you, you, always, you gotta that's always me. sign off on one, don't you? You know what I'm saying? Being that you did do uh, College Hill, does that spark you for more college, or you feel like, okay, I did that? Um... Yes and no. Yes, if I had the time. Um, and I'm going to say no because I probably don't have the time. Right. To actually. Do you feel like you're about to get be busier? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, which is good for me. Yeah. I like to be busy, you know? And um, I'm excited about this new thing that I'm working on for my ladies. For it's ladies. a clothing line. Um, lingerie. Make a line. Well, she don't want to just be tied into lingerie. <gasps> Uh, Do you wear lingerie on it? I love it, yeah. Oh, for that's myself. so cute. Oh, I love okay. it. Oh, my little mama. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear lingerie, so it's not lingerie. Same. No? Sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same. Or you it's bring out a... Watches. 
No. She's <sighs> guessing. Is it, a, is it a That's teeth it whitener? Pretty. Because your teeth are fucking white as hell. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sands, Beverly Hills. Man, mm. Dr. Sands, Beverly Hills. <laughs> I need to come on down there, man. My E crews, my yellows are <laughs> really starting to trip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Amber, do, do you cut your own hair? Like, I there's do. a Yeah. I cut it and bleach it myself. How often do you have to bleach? Because I've never seen you off your game. Um, if I'm busy every three days. You have to bleach it? Yeah. Really? So, like, just look at my hair as if it's, like, shaving your legs. Right. And you get, like, that mm-hmm. 5 o'clock shadow. So, my roots, I, I have naturally, like, really dark brown hair. Um, my roots come in, like, by tomorrow, you'll start to see it. Man, you want to come back tomorrow and we do the interview? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, come back in two, three. What about during the pandemic when you just at the house? Where yeah, you- I think I let it grow out for yeah. a while. Yeah. But I, I also have gray hair, too. Like Dude. I, I've had gray hair since I was like twenty four. Stress, huh? <laughs> she probably. Like, damn, damn, damn. Uh, my mom said she had gray uh, early, so maybe it just runs in the family. But if you want to just get up one day and just quickly run to the store, can you just get up and run out, or do you have to Amber Rose out? Like, you oh know? no, I don't give a fuck. I, I heard I, that. I run outside. I put on sweatpants, my Crocs, my mommy Crocs, and um, and I go. You probably save a lot on just doing your own hair at the crib, too. Yes. Hell I mean, yeah. well, so that's what happened. I was paying barbers like $300 to come to my yeah. house. And I'm like, I don't get a shape up. I have a feminine hairline. <laughs> right. yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't I don't have all the edging and shit. So um, I learned how to just use the <laughs> use the buzzers by myself. Amber Rose, have you, is, is does it still strike you as strange <laughs> when you run into Amber Rose's? around <laughs> because I've seen cool. so yeah and I've seen somewhere you'll say man look at this Amber Rose look alike yeah you know but people would purposely and I mean they would go to like salons too and say oh like how Amber Rose is like, right, give me the Amber right. Rose do you trip off of that like this girl that that grew up Philly you know what I'm saying like do you trip off of that sometimes uh sometimes I do especially in other countries mm-hmm. um you know Africa Amsterdam, Nether, um, well, Netherlands is Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Germany. I'm just, I'm like, and it'll just be so random. I actually went into a store in Germany and I walked in and the whole wall was my face. And it was just so random that I just walked So into, no one told you no that this store exists or this place existed? Nope. Just walking around in Germany. And in when Berlin. you walk in, it's got to be crazy for the people that work there. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah it was just legit. a fluke. It was literally just a fluke. I was just, uh, I just was randomly walking around. There was a bunch of stores, and I, I went in, and I was like, "What oh, kind shit. of store was it? Like uh, a, clothing? a clothing store, like T-shirts." And so when you walk in, how many people are on staff working there? Maybe like five. Do you get? Do they get the, like, they look at the wall and look at you? Yeah. Well, they were. It was so crazy. They asked, everyone asked me. Are you? Are you Amber Rose? Right. I think because there's so many girls that were influenced by my look. Um, they have to make sure that it's it's me, which is interesting. That's why I got the, that's why I got the tattoo. I was going to ask. Was that yeah. to like, to like separate yourself? Yeah. It was, a little well, bit. I, you know, I, I, I like tattoo. I'm like fully tatted, but um, yeah, it's like. Now you can't ask me anymore. This is really me. Well, unless somebody go out there and get the true. I, I mean, the Halloween costumes this year were yeah, really cool. man. <laughs> that's gotta be they crazy. Had, they just had like scribble like in black on their. <laughs> but that's gotta that that's gotta be crazy at the same time too. You yeah, know, it, it's got it's gotta be to overwhelming. To be a Halloween costume is really cool. Yes, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Do you go out dressed up as Amber Rose on Halloween? Because oh, no, I would be like, dude, Halloween. you pulled that off. Like, if I saw you somewhere, oh, right. I'd be like, dude, she look, damn, she look like Amber Rose. <laughs> nah, I'm into, like, gore and shit. No, so not I, you. Yeah, I, I like, find that hard to believe. No, All right. I, I like gore, so I'm into gory shit during Halloween. Amber, do you cook? I do cook. Yeah, she was like, big, I got kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I cook a lot. If actually. we were to go to your house for dinner, what what meal? Um, I make uh, chicken pasta. I make um, fried pork chops. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I make, um, shit. Oh. What else? I make? Oh, Ooh. chicken cutlets. I make uh, fried chicken. So you cook. Yeah, I there's, cook. There's cook. a difference between like when people say, oh, I'm not going to starve. Like I know how to make some eggs and stuff, but you, you cook. 
I cook and I also like I, I follow a lot of food pages on Instagram. Yeah. So I like get all their recipes and I try them out and stuff at, at home. Do you work out every day? Yes. Damn. I work out. Oh, that's why you look like that. <laughs> yeah, man. I just, I just but I will tell you, again. I will tell you, because I have kids, sometimes I can't get with my personal trainer. I will do hip hop abs on Beach Body app on Apple TV. So hip hop abs. Yeah, like you know the you know Sean T, like yes. old school Sean mm-hmm. T. But I'll do all that, I'll do all that stuff in the house. It's fun. But you gotta have a discipline for that. You just gotta make it a routine. Yeah, see. But that? you gotta do it if you do it early, if you do it really early and yeah. just knock it out. If you wait till So you 12, suggest I quit the morning show? One o'clock. <laughs> or do just, just deal with it. Show. Do you know what time I get here? Oh, I know. My. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. we get here earlier, do it together. And then Ooh. what? And then we start the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys got room out there in that, uh, you right, know, right. the Right, right. To do our hip-hop apps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there ain't nobody. There's no app that you that you could just dial it in and somebody, it just work for you, right? I got to actually do the work. There's no assistant. The oh, okay. I wish but you it's, that But easy. the hip-hop apps, I know it sounds corny, but it's actually fun. Mm-hmm. So it makes working out fun. But like fun for who? Because I don't think... It, I, I, I you're kind of you. jumping around. You're yeah, kinda, I don't want that either. It goes fast. <laughs> yeah. And how how long how long do you work out every day? Uh, 30 minutes. Mm, every day or every week? Like, are you doing 30 minutes a day? 30 minutes a day. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's not bad. Some people do like no, three I, hours yeah. in the gym. No, I don't I, do that I'm, shit. I'm back in and I have been working out. And mm-hmm. I've been trying to... You know, I've been eating right. But man, and when I'm done, I'm like, dude, I'm glad I did that. But getting up, actually going to go do it sometimes. Yeah. Oh, my Lord, Amber. Yeah, but that's, you got to do something fun. Because if you just have a trainer dude, that's like, down is so do fun. 15 sit ups, right. it's boring. Right. I Don't love lounging. You ever did that? I love Not lounging. Lunges. Too. Not lunges. No, lounging. Yeah, I just love lounging. That's me fun too. to me. Sitting down and, you know what I'm I saying? I tuck my pants in my socks and I just get all like, you yeah. know, cozy. Yeah. yeah. So you try to do both of those in a day? You work out and you lounge? I try to do it early before the kids wake up, and then I, and then I get to my day. Is there a pressure for the Amber Rose look? Um, I don't know. I don't really feel pressure. Do you feel I people mean, checking weight you out? Fluctuates. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you now? Not weight wise. Do you feel like you're you're in a zone now, or? I'm definitely in a zone. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't I've never really been insecure about my body. You know, I have two kids. Mm-hmm. My body shows that I have two kids. Mm-hmm. And I I love that about my body. I feel like um I carried my children in my body and I think my that's love. a beautiful thing. You know, so I'm not out here. I'll be 40 this year. I heard that. I'm not out here <laughs> trying to compete with these 21-year-old girls and stuff like could, that. Go ahead. Uh, but it's just yeah. And when? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing for your 40th? I don't know. I really hate celebrating my yeah, birthday. Really? Yeah. When when is your birthday? You mind my ass? October twenty first. Okay, October twenty first. All right. Well, man, we should do something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe something, something low keto. You let's know just what I'm take let's just take a trip somewhere and just let's go to India. Oh man! <laughs> look at look at her. Sure, yeah. Hey, dude. She got this whole list of things yeah. called mm-hmm. Ani's outings. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I got to do at least another five with her mm-hmm. because if not, she'd be like, oh, you went to India with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's true, oh, that's yeah so. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's so true. you could probably do one of the outings too. Put Amber's <laughs> birthday <laughs> outing on there as well. Amber's October. Hey, hey, Amber, do you know when you walk in a room or when you leave, not me, but people check you out? <laughs> do they? My, my people told me. Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. Like, do you know that? Like, I know. I know that if I'm at a concert, mm-hmm. I know when people, oh, that's big. Or you, I know when people are looking at me. Right. Do you know that? And have I made you feel uncomfortable? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I, I, I notice. Mm-hmm. Do you ever look in the mirror like I when think, you get you dressed? But you know what? Guys don't talk to me. Like, they will not talk to Do you me. Feel, and that's another thing. Do you feel like men are afraid to approach you? Yes. Right. They're so they're terrified of me, big. Mm-hmm. They're literally terrified of me, and I don't know why. But you know what, though, I think I could understand that. Why? I'm a sweetheart, uh, and and trust mm-hmm. me, you are. Yeah. But th- and and I, and I know people gonna be all in the comments, but but there's sometimes when powerful, you know what I'm saying, assertive, 
bullshit radar is it feel like your bullshit radar is up. Yes, true. Uh what could what what could I do for her that she can't it, it's a lot of things right. that men are probably like, I I can't approach her. Yeah, and then when they do approach that, it's, um, it's ignorant. You right. know what I'm saying? So. A guy told me that um I was too smart for him. Mm-hmm. And I said, Okay. And he basically what he was saying was that he couldn't take advantage of me right. that he you know, he could with other mm-hmm. women. And I saw that. I was just like, "What do you feel is out there?" Damn. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All the good guys are taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't do married men. Right. And um, Shit. I t- <laughs> um, <laughs> some girls do. Not. I wouldn't. Right. I would never hurt another woman Understood. like that. Um, <clears throat> just a lot of narcissists. A lot of egomaniacs. Um. And this is not just in the music business. I, I I know I've dated men in the music business, but it's just all over the place, honestly. I think because of social media mm-hmm. or this grandiose kind of personality that these men have. Um, so I'm 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 venturing out. You know, I'm dating white guys and Asian guys and you know tech guys, and I'm just trying different things. I heard that. And with me, man, I just. Like, I know a lot of men. You know what I'm saying? And I just choose not to be with one. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm like, man. I not feel you. What, yeah, what, I'm like, and whatever it is, what what could a man do? I could do that for myself. I really wish I could be a lesbian. Really? Yeah. I really wish I could. There's probably a lot of lesbians that wish you could be a lesbian. <laughs> I know. You know. Oh, man. If I just had, like, a really cool girl and we mm-hmm. loved each other and, like, you know, shared clothes and just were like best friends. That would be amazing. But I just and then here we are talking about how we bring you out of that. You just ain't found the right dick. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we can get you out of everything. I uh, know <laughs> men are crazy. Is that something that you would like? Say, for instance, no. you, you don't know what love is. No. Damn. And if the reason- I, if I, I, I would ideally like just to be know with that. a man if right. I'm if when I'm ready. Yeah, and and that was about to be a crazy question too because. Like, I don't think there's no man that can step to me and I'd be like, man, you know what I'm saying? So I, I guess there is no woman. Wait, big. Did Yo. you see that straight men are marrying each other now for like benefits? Nah. What? It's a thing. No, like literally it's a thing where straight men are marrying each other or they're looking for like a partner where mm-hmm. they can get married. And they're like, look, dude, you have your girlfriend. Right. I have my girlfriend. But like we can get married, and especially like, in have California, each New York, and Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're really doing that now. Me, me and Jose yeah. be like, Jose, man, we got to do this, bro. Yeah, I just got my tax bill. They're doing yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Especially, yeah. especially around the deadline around April 15th. The dudes be right. like, man, we gonna do this or not, my man? Yep. You know yeah, what it's what I'm saying? crazy. Hey, hey, man, it's a, it's a different day too, though. Yeah, it is. It is a different day, and you know it's a trip too, man. I'm so glad that I'm not out there. I couldn't imagine what no, it is to be out there, like. Like the tenders and all the other stuff and social media. I, I couldn't Terrible. imagine. I couldn't imagine. I know. I say it all the time. I'm like, don't let me win the Powerball because I do play the Powerball. I'm mm-hmm. like, if I win the Powerball, I, I, you will never see me again. Really, though? No. It's a difference between have to and wanting to. You be like, man, I have to be here yeah. and doing some of this stuff. Yeah. But I heard I would that. delete my social media off rip. Man, where would you go? And you know how sometimes you get to like, 400, 500 million. Yeah. Where do you 900 go? 900 million. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, um, I, I wouldn't be here. I'll tell I you that, that much. I wouldn't be in L.A. I would have to take my baby fathers with me um, so the kids could be around their fathers. Um, you would take them with you or you would get them like? I would get them f- houses where I'm at. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't just get them like like a plane ticket? Like, you know, you can come when you want? <laughs> no, I really? would get them houses. I heard that. That's very nice. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be for them. It would be for my kids. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Near you or closer? Close by, yeah, by, near by your yacht. No, I would I would tr- I'd tr- probably try to buy the block up. I heard that. And just and the kids can just run back and forth. I love that you play Powerball. 
I of course. <laughs> yeah, because Who doesn't? I every everybody plays, and I always <laughs> yeah. think like, man, somebody gotta win. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody gotta, gotta win. win. How crazy would it be if we were like Big Boys Neighborhood, man? Natalia Neighborhood News. What you like, got? You won't believe it. Amber Rose won the lottery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy, I man. I would tell motherfucking soul. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> She'd be up there like, with like the mask, to Amber? getting the check. That man. bitch is gone. <laughs> oh yeah. You, it'd be one of those uh, claims where you're like, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. I would go there with the mask and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. So, yep. Oh my god, man! I love that because we get. You know what I trip off of people too, Amber, is when like say for instance when the lottery is at like six million. Uh huh. Six million is life changing. Right. But for the lottery, that's not enough. It's not. <laughs> people don't get people be like, man, you playing the lottery? Like, man, they had seven hundred yes, million. You're six, like, oh man, yeah. mm-hmm. that, that's when you but win. But also, six million in LA is oh, not man. a lot. And can you imagine if you and not wasted, but if you're gonna be blessed with a lottery, it was that one. I know. <laughs> right. C- compared to the other one. So crazy thing, my grandfather won a scratch off win for life. Oh Lord. He won a thousand a week. A week for life. A thousand a week for life. But they say if somebody in your family wins, nine out of ten, you won't win because it's in two. Oh, uh, so he took, he took the win. I think he took the win from me. Damn. I'm gonna still play though. Yeah. I'm still take the gamble. And his his uh that that for life thing. Can you cash out on that? I think you can. Yeah, yeah. But I think you have to do it initially. Like you have an option. So he get a thousand dollars a week. Yes. Or damn. A week. And how old is he? 92. Oh, yes. Lord. And how long has he been doing a thousand dollars a week? Um, you gonna live a long time. 10 years. Damn. About 10 years now. I heard that. He like, man, I don't need nothing. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. that. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> and he know? still gets like, you know, um, he was in the military, so he oh, still gets God. that check and like, so. Oh, so he here. Yeah. He good. Yeah, I'd be like, let me hold some. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, man, God willing, I live. To that age. Yeah. But man, please hit me with my lottery now. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Not don't don't real. hit me with my lottery when everybody I'm else can enjoy see, it. I'm trying to see seven with 700 million looks like. Yeah, man. You know, and just. But I'll, you, I'll, I'll break you off something. Aww, big. I got you. Thank you, man. And some money, too. <laughs> no, she's talking because she was talking about she cooked like chicken fettuccine oh, and all that okay, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'll cook for you and I'll give you some money. <laughs> How about that? Remember you said that because now you're buying houses. No, I got you. And you're going to hit me off with some money. You win $700 million. Yeah. You know this is being recorded. I got, I'm I got you. My word is everything. Trust I heard me. that. I, I won't even question it. Yeah. I won't even question it. Now that, but you know what, dude? I was about to say, man, I hope you win. But I hope you don't because I don't want to send my wishes over to you. <laughs> so that would be our deal. I win. Then I'll go ahead and I'll also throw you $1,500. $1,500? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. I want at least $5 million, At least five. You about to win seven hundred million? You can give me five. That's crazy. I can't really sit here and lie to you and tell you Amber five Rose that I'm going to give you five million. Five. I see. I would do that. What about for you. Sheila? That's crazy. What about Sheila? Sheila? Yeah, Sherelle. Your, your wife? No. Who's that? What about Sheila and Sherelle? What about Charlene? Who's that? What about Nicole? What? What about Kenneth? Oh, these are my brothers and sisters. <laughs> right. If I, <laughs> she was like his sister. <laughs> yeah, if, if I give you five million, I got to give them. 10 million. You got 700 million. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. I'm sitting here negotiating with myself with some money I don't even have. <laughs> All right. Y'all stick around y'all radios, man. Amber Rose, I'm going to do something with you called For Real, For Real, okay. For False, For False. All righty. So if they, we ask you something that's for real, just hit me with For Real, For Real. Okay. If it's false, For False, For False. Amber Rose, her favorite junk, junk food is Reese's Buttercups. Mm. For false, for false. Really? Yeah. You like them, but they're not your favorite? Or you don't even like them? I don't really like sweet food. Really? Mm-mm. Never been? No, not really. Do, do you have Do you have a junk food that you go to? I'm not a junk food type of person. Mm. I, don't, I, I, don't, I just don't like sugary uh, foods. I heard that. Yeah. All righty. Well, that's a for false, for false. All righty. She says she's been uh, seeing spirits for a long time. For real, for real, on a show. Explain. Um, it was a, it was a show. <laughs> ah, did you know that? No, I didn't, because I just so, saw a clip online. This is why we do for real, for real, for false, for false. Okay, so yeah, explain that to me. You, it was on a yeah, show. Yeah. So, so being an atheist, mm-hmm. you realize um, as you get older, well, as you become an atheist, um, that 
our minds can create fiction. Mm. And um, we, we kind of look back on things and realize that um, none of it was ever real. So I said that on the show, but that was before I was an atheist. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. During, during a TV interview, Wiz was asked, who would he date if he could date any woman in the world? Amber was turned in and saw him. An- you were tuned in and saw him answer Amber Rose. For real, for real. She contacted him on Twitter after that? Yep. I heard that. How crazy is that? That you just happen to be watching, or maybe you're watching by, you know. Uh, people were hitting me on Twitter and saying, uh, Wiz Khalifa has a crush on you. And I'm like, who the fuck is Wiz Wait, Khalifa? Wait, so this is before? This I, is- I didn't know who he was. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. And I had a sunglass line at the time. And I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll send you a pair of sunglasses, you know, just to do something nice because he says something nice about me. And then I met him in person and I was like, I'm in love. Oh, my God. It was like love at first sight. Hey, man, you know how there's some people that I know, like like Liz that used to work with us, she always waited for, like, the the Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake to come back together. And I yeah. think you had one. Was it was it uh, Jennifer Lopez? Mine was always Ben and Jen. Ben I always and Jen. thought, oh. yeah. Yeah. Do people have that thing yes. where it's like, man, like, I hope one day they get back together. Yeah, I see Do that all the time. Do people tell you that? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, is we and, and and I don't follow a lot, so excuse mm-hmm. me. Does uh, is we in a relationship right now? Yes. Okay. He is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah. Okay. We love Understood. Amy. She's amazing. Okay. Well, if you love her, I love her. Yeah. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's a good girl. She takes care of my son really well. My Aww. son. Beautiful. My son loves that's her hard. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's hard. When it's yeah. like, okay, I'm doing my thing over here. When they go over there. Yeah, but it's good as a mother knowing that your yeah. son is in a safe environment with. Yeah. A woman that he cares about. Believe that. You know? For real, for real. She got her first tattoo at 15. For real, for real. And now, and what was that tattoo? <sighs> Paul Prince, because I was watching Total, videos of Total, and she had the Paul Prince on her leg. So that was your first oh. one? Yeah. Ah, see right here it says... Just uh, being a little fast ass. They said guy. it was your boyfriend, Ernest. No, it wasn't. Oh, was it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. Right. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> So, I got that covered a lot. I forgot about that. It so might have been. Where do you get either the first tattoo of Ernest or the Paul Prince? Where where does a fifteen year old get that? I had it on my my right here. Okay, so it was uh, so visible. I can cover it with my with a sleeve. With okay, a all right. Where did you have to cover it from? It probably it definitely family? was Ernest. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Oh, so Ernest yeah. probably like yeah. I yeah. know. Uh, When's the last time you talked to Ernest? Uh, I talked to his mom almost every day in the oh. DM. Right. Yeah, we're so right. close. Hey, baby, I saw everything yeah. good. You yeah. sure looking good. Yeah, she's uh, great. She was inspired by Sinead O'Connor to yes. shave her. Really? To shave your head? Yes. What did you see that was empowering by that? Nothing compares to you video. Yeah. Yeah. That's changed cool. my life. And I was very young. I was a child back then, but um, I don't know. Throughout the years, I was like, it just looks so cool. She just looked beautiful i want to do it and i, I did it when how, how many years ago you, you say and, and you already told you're about to be 40 this year mm-hmm. when did you because i know 22 amber years ago wow 22 years ago i've, I've had I, for 22 years i've had this haircut and you know what's what's wild about that is there's a lot of focus and emphasis on face and hair and they, you know when when you cut your hair what did the others around you say? Well, before I was, t- I was, you know, you going to it? all my friends and I'm like, I really want to shave my head. And they're like, you're going to look crazy. You're going to look like a boy. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I did it. And they were like, wow, it looks really, it looks good. Did they shave theirs too? Because everybody can't pull no, it off No, they either. did oh, not okay. shave theirs. Yeah, um, I got this little thing in the back of my head, you know, but <laughs> any female. Then if, I if, dyed it blonde. I cried for like a week. I'm not going to lie. Oh, after was, you shaved it, like, what did I do? Yeah, I did. I did. I cried because it was just being a girl. You know, it was scary. Um, and then I dyed it blonde, and I was just like, "Oh, back. this is this is me." Yeah, it so just softened up 22 everything. Twenty two years ago. Yeah, somebody give me a makeover, please. I'm so tired of being bald headed. Really? I don't even know. Twenty two years with this look, I don't even know where to begin. Like I, I don't know what to do. Do people next. tell you don't grow your hair? But I mean, and like you can go put on a wig and things like that. Yeah, I don't but, know what to do. I'm just, I mean, I get it's my brand. I get it's Amber Rose, but I'm 
22 years being a woman and not changing your right. hair is crazy. You should have, uh, during the, and, and now all this is if I would have, could have, should have. But during the pandemic, when we weren't seeing you as much, you should have grew like dreads. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. That, that would have been dope, man. I you just came hair, back out. I grew my hair out when I was pregnant with Slash, mm-hmm. my little one. Um, and then a- after I had him, I cut it off again. How long did it, What what is growing your hair out with Slash? How long is that, like? Uh, could the whole you ponytail? Pregnancy, yeah, it was like right. It was like right here. Really? Yeah. So when you step out as Amber Rose pregnant, are you stepping out because we're so used to seeing you with the bald and blonde? Are you wearing like a beanie or a hat? Uh, yeah, I was wearing like wigs and stuff because my hair was growing out and it was going through that ugly phase mm. of like being short uh-huh. into long, you know. And my hair grows up oh, like that, see? and then if. Rose down. Oh, you should have got you like a little cool little afro, man. I know. It's oh, just a mess. Yeah. I can't. Now, but now we're here and we're back outside. So And we you, back ball you can't, headed. You can't do it now. Mm-hmm. Amber Rose says that she put uh, Kanye West onto Nicki Minaj, which resulted in her being included on the iconic track Monster. For real, for real. Really, though? How does that happen? Um, Nicki, uh, she she wasn't really uh, famous yet. Right. Um. I think she had like some buzz in the street and stuff, but Kanye wasn't aware of her at the time. And um, we became friends on Twitter. We would talk and stuff like that. And um, I got her in the studio with Kanye to get on Monster. Mm. But I was you... bigging her up to. I was just right. like, "Yo, this girl's a fucking lyricist. <laughs> like she's. How I did... mean, she might outrap you. How did you know? He was like, no one can outrap yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. She likes the smell of weed, but doesn't smoke. I do not like the smell of weed. You don't? No. And you don't smoke? I do not smoke. Did you ever smoke before? I don't know or how you never... I married Wiz. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I don't think either. What is more, more for him? You know what right. I'm saying? But yeah, like, the, and then also, when you met Wiz, Wiz was already blowing anyway. Oh, yeah. So oh, it yeah. was like, it wasn't like you just came home or saw him one day on a date and you're like, it smelled like weed in the car. Right, right. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? I, I, I accepted that and I knew that wasn't my thing, but I never tried to get him to not smoke weed. Mm. You know, right? What I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got gotcha. you. Like that's him. him. Yes. Yeah. Hey, man. Do you? And, and I know this is a crazy question, but Wiz is one of those people that they say character is what's being said about you when you're not in the room. Mm-hmm. And we have great conversations about Wiz when he's not in the room. Right. Like that dude. Like, how can you not like? Wiz Khalifa. I love him. Yeah, man. He's one of my favorite people. Always in the whole world. warm, acknowledged, like, yeah. man. And and he acknowledged everyone in the room, his laugh, his contagious. Yes. <laughs> and what I love about about Wiz too, man, is like there's no bullshit factor. Right. Like I don't feel like I gotta figure out, you know, what, no. what Wiz is He's or an anything open book. like that. He's yeah. just like a solid person. I remember years ago, Amber, you said something about Wiz. Where it was like, when he say something, he does it. Yeah. And I remember you like, if he's going to play pool, he's going to learn how to play pool. But it was like when he got into martial arts. And yep. he, he was like, I want to do. He won't stop until he perfects something. That's his personality. It does it if it's bowling, if it's pool, <laughs> if it's anything. He will, he will not stop until he perfects it. Man, when I saw what he did with kickboxing, with martial arts, and what he did with his body. Mm. I was like, this dude is a machine also. It's so funny. He called me. He was like, Amber, how did you marry me with my skinny, scrawny little body like that? Like, how <laughs> How did you love me through that? And I'm he said like, through that. <laughs> no, it was just, he was just perfect. He mm-hmm. was perfect to me. You know, just tall and skinny. Right. You know? Hey, man, was that a type? It, it was just him. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I didn't care that he wasn't, you know, big and muscly. Did he could did he smoke in the house? Yeah. Okay. Are you saying with Sebastian? No. No, not with Sebastian, but like in the car. Before like... oh before we had Sebastian, yeah, everywhere. He didn't care. He smoked everywhere. He was getting locked up all over the US before it became <laughs> right. legal. Uh, take, so he would call me and be like, babe, I'm back for in the jail. Team. Yeah. yeah. Take 10 for the team. Right. Uh, and and now he got his own brand that's moving as well, man. Yep. Such a good guy. Amber, what is the best part about being a mom? Mm. Oh, the best part about being a mom is um, watching their milestones, um, getting the snuggles and kisses and the, when they reach for you, um, laying with them, watching mm-hmm. them fall asleep. I mean, the list goes on. Um, and um, 
just seeing how much smarter they are yeah, man. Uh, than, than we were. Mm-hmm. You know, this genera- Gen Alpha is like, I mean, these kids are next level. Hey, Amen. And, and even with the College Hill Celebrity Edition, e- everything with you going and, and, and doing the HBCU, have you stopped being able to help your son with his homework yet? Let me um, tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm there. He's going yeah. into fifth grade and he has calculus. The school that he wow. goes oh, to. Damn. Oh, wow. Wait, he's going wow. into or he's going into six? He's going into fifth. He's going into He has into algebra f- and cal- So his school is very academically inclined. Uh, um, yeah. He had to take a test to get into that school. So um, when he's, so he plays basketball, uh, but he's starting at his school in fifth grade. So if he really wants to pursue basketball, then for high school, he can go to like Sierra Canyon. Right. Uh, where like LeBron's son went and everything mm-hmm. like that. Um, but for the most part, if you want to go to like Oxford, Harvard, any Ivy League college, um, you can stay in that school until 12th grade and then Jesus Christ. Go there. Wait, so he's going <laughs> to the fifth and already they have them doing calculus. Yes. Let me tell you, I got out of high school without doing calculus. I don't know shit. <laughs> yeah. Like you can you can literally put that that's Powerball money in front of me. Mm-hmm. And say, work out this calculus thing. Right. And I'll be back at work in the morning. No, he was asking me how to divide. Uh, he was like, Mom, I'm having problems with this this problem. And it was like dividing fractions. And I'm like, you need to call your dad. Yeah. I'll I, don't be like, to, I don't know. I don't know. But at least that. with me, I look at it, too. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm having problems, too. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah. Dividing fractions, I'm good. I Even can't. yesterday. And, my, and I stopped helping my kids with homework years ago. <laughs> right. Like, my my son, is he's 16. My daughter's 14. She'd be 15. I stopped years ago. Yesterday, just yesterday, my, my daughter was like, Dad, said, and I was like, baby, I said, why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, why are you asking me yeah, these questions? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, we've been having a good weekend. Like, right. why, why, why are you doing this? You Don't know what start I'm saying? with me. Like, yeah, I like, do. You know, you don't want to take your phone away. <laughs> you know? like, like, yeah, so it, it, it's just it's just a different world now. It's but different. but when you say the, just like the milestones and everything, it never goes away, Amber. It never goes away. like. That. Like, do you ever just look at your kids in amazement just for no reason? Yes. Yeah, man. All day. Yeah. Well, both of my kids look exactly like me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. Can you explain that, too? She said this earlier. So I saw, you know, I saw a photo of them next to each other and I went, oh, they look so much like, like, because obviously they have different dads. And I was like, wow, they look so much alike. That means they look like more like Amber, because sometimes I would see photos of Bash and be like, I can see Wiz yeah, in him. A little bit, yeah. But then because now your second is getting older, I was like, they are mini yeah. twins of Amber. They're twins, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. They're so cute. You My little the- one's just uh, lighter. He just has a lighter complexion, but they look like twins. Man, yeah, you probably got the strong genes. Mm-hmm. I yeah, do. No? But really? me and my brothers, we all look exactly alike. Do you have any sisters, Amber? No. Okay, so how many I'm brothers the oldest, do you have? Uh, two brothers. Okay. Yeah. Are they protective? They're they're 23, 25. Okay. They're young. How do they deal with Amber Rose as celebrity? Because but you got to think you've been you know for most it's been their lives. Right. Right. Yeah. Um Have they ever they got into really a situation ask- protecting their sister? No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. My my friends do that. I'm like, you're not security. Relax. Right. <laughs> just sit back there. You're gonna get hurt. Uh, yeah. You know? Like just clear the way. If you don't They'll see me, they'll be like, stop fucking taking pictures of my. I'm like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Hey Amber, early on, did you want to fight a lot of people because you didn't know how to deal with celebrity? Um, only the people that touched me inappropriately, because okay. oh. there was a lot of it was a lot of girls, to be honest. A lot of girls would reach under, yeah. It was a lot of girls. Yeah. Damn. Did you ever have to? Did you ever have to put your hands on someone, uh, or you thought about it? I would push them. Right. I would okay. push them, like in like a club environment. Um, yeah. But yeah, my yeah. my security had to knock somebody out before though. Do you, and now you can't even. I mean, now everything is being recorded. Everybody frivolous. Mm-hmm. They talk to shit. You handle it. Then they sue you. Yeah. Do- I mean, I get why Chris Brown take cell phones and like bad bunny take right. cell phones and shit. Like I get it. Hey man. And the I, comment, the comments, they're just like, why would they do that? They owe that girl a phone. But it's like, you, they don't understand how it, mm-hmm. it gets really bad sometimes. How do you feel when people say it comes with the job or it comes with the territory? It comes with their, I didn't ask for this shit. Right. I didn't, I didn't ask for this life. It was this, this life was handed to me. So you could say that to anybody else, but like, 
I, as long as you're not disrespectful, again, what I said earlier, I'm very gracious with my fans. Mm-hmm. I always take pictures. I, I've seen that. Um, yeah. I mean, unless I'm feeding my kid at a restaurant or something like that, um, I'll, I'll ask them to politely wait until I'm done, and mm-hmm. then I'll get up and take a picture if they're still if they're still in the restaurant. Um, but when you're just trying to catch me off guard or try like or seeing me have a I don't know argument with some uh, a mm-hmm. loved one. And you're trying to get that on video. It's like. Yeah, we're in some goofy times yeah, right now. Yeah, don't do too, that. Amber. That's why. We're in some goofy times. Amber Rose, definitely want to thank you for coming thank into you. the neighborhood. Thank Next you. time we thank bring you. you in, answer the questions. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> yeah. You answer everything. Except, I, what, I except for what the what the new thing is that's going on. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. That gives us a reason to come back and sit down again. For sure. Yeah, For sure. I, I always try to give you a, a, a good interview. You know what, dude? And I love you. I love like, you. And I'm talking about, man, like, we have fun and we play all that, but I really love you. I love and you. And I really hope for your, like, your peace, your happiness. Like, I always send you good energy, and I know you do for me as well, but I, do. I really love you. And I always, man, I, I want you to keep <laughs> smiling. You know what I'm saying, and just 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 be the person that you are, and as you're growing on and thank adding you. on to to your great spirit that that you are. But thank you, Amber Rose, for coming into the neighborhood. Thank God you. willing, we'll see you again when you want to talk about what this new venture is that yes, you didn't I'll want to share with us. Yes, I'll definitely come back. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm I don't live too far from here. So. All right, all right. So you want us to do the next show over there? You want us to come over there? <laughs> yeah. I'll stop by again. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, stop over here. Stop over here. Yeah, that is tacky to just be. In also, your... also, I have my own podcast coming out. Oh, hey, nice. dude. So as you should. Yeah, I just signed my deal like three days ago. So Amber, I'm really excited. That right there Thank you. is low hanging fruit. Yeah. That I'm is excited. a no brainer. But I'm not for you. talking about salacious gossip. Nah. We talking about some some real shit. Hey man, and you know what's good about that is that you control your destiny. I'm excited. And people love to have you on, right? And then there's times where you're like, I don't want to, I'm not going to go do that. So people know the power in having you on. Right. So now it's like, dude, I'll just take the power and I'll control it. Yeah. That's beautiful. For sure. That is a no brainer. That's going to be very successful. I don't know exactly what it is, but you ever need me on there. I would love for you to come on. No, you dope as hell. That's beautiful. (laughs) Thank Believe you. that. But thank you for coming into the neighborhood. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Amber Rose in the neighborhood, Big Boy's neighborhood. 